The Edmonton Oilers clearly have two of the very best players in the entire world right now, Connor McDavid and Leon Draisaitl. I mean, they were the top two scorers in the league this year by a pretty wide margin. And again, through the start of this playoffs, they're both in the top 10, could very well be at or near the top again when it's all said and done. But although the team will likely only go as far as those two take them, they're not the only reason why this Oilers team is, in my opinion, the most dangerous team in the Western Conference. Making the move to acquire Matthias Eklund from the Nashville Predators has so far been one of the best trades of the year. Down the stretch in the regular season after acquiring Eklund, the Oilers went 18-2-1 and became one of the hottest teams in the league going into the playoffs, which every hockey fan knows is super important. Eklund is arguably Edmonton's best defenseman currently and brings a consistent shutdown game that was seriously lacking on the Oilers' blue line before they brought him in. He was also a huge part of the Nashville Predators' run to the Stanley Cup Final back in 2017, and that experience could certainly pay dividends at some point this postseason for the Oil as well. Another huge factor that will contribute to the Oilers' success in the playoffs is the ridiculous power play advantage they have compared to every other team. In the regular season, it was legitimately the best in NHL history at 32.4%, and in the playoffs, it has somehow been even better thus far currently with 8 goals on 14 opportunities for an insane 57%. It most likely won't remain that high as the team rolls along and if they can get past this round 1 series, but with an automatic break-in weapon like Connor McDavid, a big time threat to either score or set up a teammate in Leon Dreisaitl, a point guy at the top with a rocket of a shot in Evan Bouchard, one of the best net front guys in the league in Zach Hyman, and oh yeah, Ryan Nugent Hopkins who sneakily had over 100 points this season, you can bet opposing teams will be terrified to take penalties against this unit. The other big thing about this Edmonton team is that the overall team depth is better than it has been in previous years, and some of the players on the team have even acknowledged this. Nick Bukestad has been strong and has chipped in a few times. Also, Clem Costin in the bottom six can play a rugged game. And Warren Fogle and Ryan McLeod, although they haven't done much yet, they do have some speed and skill and are guys that have the potential to add some depth scoring too. The slight weakness that this team does have is giving up goals and goaltending. But if they can get even a bit above average net mining from either Stuart Skinner or Jack Campbell, the way this offense scores goals, they will be just fine. They could still find themselves going on a deep run in this playoffs. It also just seems like there is a buzz around the city of Edmonton this year and the fan base and players are clearly starving for a deep run after getting taken down in the conference finals by the eventual cup champ, Colorado Avalanche, last season. So, please let me know if you agree with me that the Oilers are the most dangerous team out west, whether they will win in round one, and if not, who is the biggest threat to come out of the Western Conference this year? Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.